such as like practicing teching right. and that sort of stuff. Because, Absolutely. Um, I feel like those uh, those are very hard to practice without another person like willing to help you like train. Right. right? And uh, the ability to do it by yourself is going to be huge, huge, huge for pushing like certain individuals because uh, you might not always have smashers around you that are available to play. Right. That's absolutely right. So Big Play and Sunito, um, I know that Big Play, formerly known as Phantom, mm -hmm. he played Bowser in Smash 4. Now, he says he doesn't have a main in this game. So I'm actually really interested in seeing what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. And we'll see. But Sunito plays Sonic. He has a secondary inkling, and I, I don't even know about the third character. Interesting. Um, and so that's what I'm really interested to see is exactly. Uh, so in Squad Strike, we're going to get such a, a such a bigger character diversity pool, mm -hmm. and I think everybody's third characters are where the most interesting stuff is going to happen because you get to see exactly how deep your character pool is. Bowser, Ridley, and Wolf coming out from big players. Sunito going with Sonic, Mario, and Inkling. All right, actually, you know what? He did do well at Gwinnett Brawl Squad Strike. I think he got, I can't remember if it was first or second. Mm -hmm. um, maybe actually been third. I can't remember, but it was it was close. So um, we have some newcomers to the stream. We have Wolf, and I don't believe we've seen Mario so far. Yeah, we either. haven't seen Mario today at Wolf. Um, I don't know much about Wolf's changes. Um, some mm -hmm. people don't feel like Wolf is the move. I, I think that he's, I, I play against him, and he intimidates me. Mm -hmm. But, um... I That's just not knowing a lot of characters right now. Uh, the huge issue Wolf is going to run into in this metagame is the fact that he has to rely so heavily on back air to get kill confirms mm -hmm. at anything above 80 to 90%. Um, and spacing back air with it not being safe on shield is going to be a huge detriment for that character. Mm -hmm. um, so I would like to see how the Wolf mains are going to adapt over time. Oh, he's a good tech. I, he might not Ooh, be. Oh, and he's going to live. I think he just hands. barely made it. Absolutely. It was like a pixel off. And he is getting the, the uh, Sunita consistent with the up throw up airs. Um, so booyah, is, as they like to call it. Is up throw up air real against big body characters? It is real on every character at certain percents. But mm -hmm. there, um, there's other, like at certain percents, like what would be the kill confirm percents. Yeah. It's not true because they might be able to act sooner, like or jump sooner or Absolutely. air dodge sooner than some other characters. Yeah. So it's, it's true, but it's not true. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Wolf's combo tools, uh, forward air and up air being his like his go-to bread and butters, um, and uh, he also has some he has some very sneaky stuff mm. off of some of his throws where he can get some really interesting kill confirms. Mm. So I'd really like to see if he can implement any of those with his Wolf stock. Um, that was an excellent back air closing out that inkling stock, and now we have Mario coming forward. Um, well, with Wolf being such a like the space animal s character, um, Ooh. Ooh, that was an excellent anti-air up smash. Bowser versus Mario, gaming's classic matchup. Yeah, this is a. And here we go. Um, obviously, this being the character that Big Play has probably had the most experience with, uh, mm -hmm. coming from Smash Four. So we're gonna see what he, if he has what it takes to bring here. Um, obviously, Bowser is significantly stronger. So Nita racking up so much damage, damage. on a combo percent. It's looking like melee. Whew. I absolutely love when people go for the platform double jump reset to extend the combo. Uh, CSS and Mario being very infamous for doing that specifically, but I would like to see other characters try to implement that as well. Right. Ooh, I almost got the forward smash there. I'm not going to get the down tilt. I actually think maybe down smash would have been the correct option there. Hitting on both sides mm -hmm. and then be able to like set up for another edge guard sequence versus this Bowser. Uh, does Mario have any kill throws? Um. Maybe back there. Okay. Uh, I'm not certain. And Sunito going to close it out, only dropping his first character, Inkling. Wow. Mario seems very interesting in this game. I know people. a lot of people are complaining that uh, he feels very different from his Smash 4 counterpart. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, from what I can see, uh, Mario seems to have all the right stuff still. Um, and he's just always been like that in all the Smash games where he's just been good enough. He has everything that he needs to win and nothing more than that. Right. No, that, absolutely. He's definitely been a very um, consistent character. He's always mm -hmm. sort of been like the starter character. He's very easy to start out with, very simple combos. Yeah. He was definitely like that in Smash 4. Like if you, I think you'll you'll see some of that in Ultimate. Mm -hmm. um, you know, actually what I want to see, and I was playing against um, a Kirby with a friend earlier. Yeah. I actually think that Kirby was um, a, a little bit scarier than I was expecting him to be. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't seen much of it. We'll see how it goes. Kirby... Uh, 
just up tilt and back air has been the the bread and butter for that character across various different Smash mm -hmm. titles. Um, but anybody with the with the up air or not air, but a, an up tilt with that kind of hitbox is just so good at anti airing at low percent, specifically in this game because it links into itself, and then you get another one to two aerial string, and then you're putting into an advantage situation. Mm -hmm. um, so his aerial drift uh, might not be like up to stuff comparatively to some maybe the other floaty characters in this game, but I, I think Kirby does have potential. Hmm. Uh, a solid analysis. Yeah, we'll definitely see. Um, so many characters have potential. All mm -hmm. right, so well, that's right. Phantom did say he doesn't have a man, so he's, he's been playing everybody. So he says he's going to use this squash, right? All right, so now we're seeing King Karul, Pokemon Trainer, and Wolf again. So Wolf being the character, it seems like he wants to keep there. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that he's actually choosing to, uh, to play with Ivysaur uh, on point specifically. Um, and I know most people uh, prefer Squirtle as uh, their Pokemon trainer, like uh, three character yeah. like starter, um, really? because he gets he gets so he gets so much off of the grab at zero percent. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can switch into Ivysaur after you get like fifty or sixty percent, and then he can like wall people out. And versus characters with weaker recoveries, uh, his down air is so good at like spiking them. Mm -hmm. I've got to say that um, I have the only time I have seen Squirtle start on point with Pokemon mm -hmm. Trainer was game two and reflex played. Other, every other time it's been Ivysaur. Interesting. Um, and every Pokemon trainer. There, there's something there. Like they know something, I just don't know what it is. Yeah, absolutely. Um, or they feel a certain way. I really like Ivysaur, but I just think that uh, like getting 60% off of grab of Squirtle is just so strong. Um, and uh, I maybe with uh, with more time and uh, being able to lap those combos out for a, a greater period of time, that we're going to see uh, Pokemon trainers do start off with Squirtle, or maybe mm -hmm. you know Ivysaur will, pers will pers persist and like stay the meta of the point characters. Right. That. Um. I'd like to see him maybe try to get a grab and switch into Charizard. Ooh. It was an excellent forward smash. Okay, so we have Inkling coming down. Um, so as an Inkling man yourself, uh, how do you uh, feel? Because uh, I know that the down B mechanic is like very new and like fresh to this game, mm -hmm. and uh, you're then you, it's 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 very viable to set up uh, traps at the ledge. Mm. Um, that was an excellent up smash, by the way. Good job. Um, and so, how do you how do you like the the pressure sequence of, the, of this character? And I, I haven't got much time to like play around with Inkling, but it seems to be like a very common and like popular pick among Smashers. Yeah, I think that um, personally looking at it, I think um, I like it. I'm not actually super versatile with the bomb yet, um, mm -hmm. and the ledge traps that come from the bomb. Personally, I think that um, what I enjoy most from Inklings is their movement. The fact that they can low profile moves, as you saw just right there, so getting into a dash grab. Um, Sinead timed that perfectly to get a low profile on the forward smash. Got mm -hmm. some grab combos off of it. So that's what I mostly personally prefer. Okay. Um, off of doing that with the character. Mm -hmm. Um, there's obviously a very huge aspect that they can do with the bombs. Mm. They have great moves for two framing down till we saw it with the uh, forward, um, forward smash there, which I didn't even know could do that, so I'm about to steal that later. <laughs> but um, We're all about stealing <laughs> tech here. Yeah. Um, but ever since this Inkling came onto the field, it's mm. been putting in a whole bunch of work. It has two KOs so far, and I know with Wolf, oh, that was an unfortunate Ooh. SD. Um, but with Wolf having such uh, problems killing at that percent, if he managed to just dodge the back air for a long enough period of time, he could rock up easily 60 to 70.